Hey, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out the devilish hellcat known as Lucifer. This is a mystic enchant. This one is a pair of duo with Scorch and the cat form. So this one turns your Scorch into basically a combo builder, gives you a buff. You hop into cat form, you rake him out with your devilish hell claws, and then you also go back into Scorch. You basically just alternate between those two. There's a little bit more to that, but that's the gist of it. The devilish claws is a buff. That one will restore your mana when you're in cat form, so basically you're going to start the Scorch, get that maxed up to I think it's 5 stacks, hop into your cat form, rake them out, get them with the burning claws, there's a charred bite, so that turns your ferocious bite into like a fire bite. Then they also do increased damage, increased critical chance, so then you hop back into Scorch and you get the mana from the cat claws and you just keep, basically keep that rotation going. There's a little bit more um, things that can synergize with this one. I went with something like Ready, Set, Go. That one's nice when you start combat with the Scorch. You can basically get a little bit of movement speed so you can get up to your enemy. In PvP, it's very, very noticeable difference. Um, in PvE, like dungeons, it's not really a big difference. You're usually just fighting something that's like taunted on somebody else. Um, I went with a couple little things like increased physical damage, um, a little bit of increased, uh, reduced cost for the physical abilities, uh, Guile of a Loon. We also got Primal Frenzy. This one gives you a chance to Enrage, which reduces the energy cost of your cat form abilities and increases your physical damage done by 5%. Um, so a little bit of a buff there, but more so the energy cost is handy to have. We went with a couple of the talents that give you increased energy reduct or regen, as well as increased energy capacity. And we went with Pendulum, 3% increased spell haste, and below you get increased crit chance. Which, sometimes we get the crit, but mostly it's the spell haste, it's nice to start off combat. And then a couple of things here and there, a little bit increased crit, um, a little bit extra damage, I have to enchant this guy and this guy. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the talents that we went with. Most of the talents are in the feral tree. Um, we got the leader of the pack, which is handy to have with the extra addition. Um, some extra stat increase, some extra damage. This one's nice because it increases your attack power by 150% of your level. Um, movement speed, this one's handy, especially in PvP. Um, gotta take that if you're in PvP because you cannot catch up to people with easy. Um, this one, this one I might get rid of. It's alright, the cost reduction is nice, but the insta-heal for the healing touch transforms you back into your human form, which is handy if you have the Scorch, which I might keep it for that, but at the same time, when I used to play Feral, and I think it was probably a Miss of Pandaria, you can just spam this, and you would just never die. It was just a live lord. Um, we got the charge, we got Heart of the Wild to increase intellect, increase agility. That's what mainly we're looking for, is a combo and synergy, increase agility and intellect. We got some increased stats, um, we got some rogue abilities, increased max energy, this one gives you energy every time you crit, this one gives you increased crit as well as every time you deal damage you get an extra combo point every 3 seconds, so a lot of combo point generation on this build, a um, little bit extra damage and some extra energy, but yeah, so you'll, you'll be hitting claw once or twice and you already got full combo points, which you drop the uh, ferocious bite which turns into the charred bite. And then you just cycle through that a few times, get your mana back up, swatch over to swap over to Scorch, and then just basically alternate between that. Pretty good damage, um, very stealth sustaining in terms of the damage. The health a little bit on the squishier side, but the maneuverability you got with the cat form and all those uh, extra abilities like the charge, and I also got disengage and the demonic leap. Those help out a lot. But we'll uh, show you the rest of this video, see how it plays out, and give it a try.